Hi everybody and thank you for watching. So here is my third Rite Aid haul for this week. So this will complete my week at Rite Aid. I basically maxed out all the barcodes on all of my cards. I only have two cards so I was only able to do about uh, four transactions on each. Uh, so I do have technically four transactions here to show you. I did three and then the third one there was an issue so we did have to do a whole refund, repurchase which were equated to transaction four. So I'll go over that late, um, a bit later on but um, Rite Aid is amazing this week so if you haven't watched my other videos do check it out we do have an earn in ad coupon that if you spend $50 you get $15 back in bonus cash there is four barcodes of those there's four unique ones there's one from the circular there's one from the um, email one from the website and one from the social media real deals posted on her community tab which is a really good so with those uh, coupons you can use uh, it's a one-time use and it's one per um, card so if you have one card you can you do basically four transactions use one of each of those and you're getting $15 back when you spend $50 and that is before any coupon so you have to spend 50 before any coupons and you scan that barcode with the cashier and you'll get $15 back in a bonus cash so which is a really good deal there and um, I also want to mention real deals posted on her community tab a spend 25 get five dollars off so you can utilize that and then there's a, a 5 of 15 as well so i did utilize those coupons as, and then i did have a catalina that i used on one of my transactions okay and so that's basically it um i also want to mention so i did go to a separate a, a completely different rite aid that's not in my area so i did go back to my other rite aid and and they still did not have the five hour energy drinks so i thought let me go way out and see if this other store had it they did not so you can see here that i've done multiple transactions at rite aid and none of them have the five hour energy drinks i could not find them anywhere i'm hoping that well it is a monthly deal so i'm hoping that they do surface uh, next week or the week after and i can utilize those to help me um, lower uh, my out of pocket on other deals that i can use catalina coupons for Okay, so let's go over the first transaction that I did. So I decided to do the Duracell deal. I was really contemplating whether I wanted to do this or not. I do have a bonus cash challenge on this card, but um, doing this will not uh, complete it. So I still have to do another, spend another three more dollars, uh, but there is a deal in two weeks time on Duracell. So I'm hoping that by me doing that in two weeks, I'll be able to finish off this bonus cash challenge. But the Duracell is a really good deal. Even without the bonus cash challenge, it is amazing. So I, I, this is a repeat deal. So I did this on my other card on my haul number one. So if you want to check that one out, you can. But I'll basically give you the complete breakdown here. Okay, so the Duracell, they're on promotion for $17.99. When you spend $25, you get $15 back. The limit is two. So basically the best is to pick up three of them. That will get you over the $50 mark and you're gonna get $30 back in bonus cash. Three of them comes to $53.97. Getting $30 back in bonus cash works out to be amazing. And then with the earn in ad coupon, you'll get another $15 back. So you're going to get $45 back for spending $53.97, which is good. If you're utilizing that 5 of 25 and the 5 of 15, that's another $10 off. This works out to be a really cheap deal when it comes to batteries. Also, we do have a 6 off of 2 uh, loads of cards so i think it works out to be a money maker just on its own i did throw in a few other deals uh, just to utilize a catalina i didn't have to but um i did it anyway we got to be a little bit of cost but overall i was still happy okay so i did the duracell deal that's like 53.97 um also in this store i found some more seven generation wipes we go through these all the time um a lot of wipes we just i like to use those around the house to clean them they're on clearance for 224 and then we do have a 75 cent load that came off so i did utilize that and then i did pick up the ziploc so the ziplocs they are part of a monthly promotion spend 10 get five dollars back they are 529 each so i did do that okay so between the ziplocs the duracell batteries and then the seventh generation it came to 6903 i did have to 
basically get my total up higher because i did have a spend 55 get 11 dollars off catalina i didn't have to use that i could have just used the 5 of 25 and the 5 of 15 but i wasn't thinking when i did this transaction okay so let me show you my receipt on this one so over here you do have there is the duracell so there's one of them one two and three there is my six of a two load there's a two seven generations with a 75 cent load and i had my 11 off of 55 so with these catalina coupons you do have to factor in your total uh after the load to cards and so because i had to get down to i have the six dollar and the 75 cent i did have to spend more than the 55 for that all to come off and then there's also the ziplocs there okay so the my subtotal is 51.28 i did get 50 dollars back after um, everything so there is my uh, 15 dollars back for the web barcode 15 each for the Duracell and then $5 for the Ziploc. So including tax for everything work out to be a cost of $5.78. Not including tax, it's basically a cost of $1.28, which is a pretty good deal for uh, basically these batteries and items that we will use. And then um, basically factoring in my bonus cash challenge, I should get about $9 back. Works out to be a money maker. It will be a money maker in the end after all of that. Okay, so that's my first transaction. And then on my second transaction, I decided to focus on the PNG deal, which is spend 20, get $5 back. And at this store, they were completely stocked for the Febreze. I went in there wanting those the most. And then I did pick up a few other items just to complete the deal. Okay, so the Febreze, they are $3.29. So with this promotion, there are a bunch of items that are $3.29. So part of that is the Febreze, the car clips. I picked up five of them on this transaction. So uh, they are $3.29 and I did have the $2.30 coupon that we got in a previous insert. I used four of those and then on the fifth one, I used the load to card. I also picked up the small space. We do have a loads of card on this one but you also have a paper coupon so i utilized that i also picked up the dawn same price there should be a 50 cent loads of card on this one it did not come off not sure why if i knew i would have probably picked up another small space but it's something we'll use anyway and then i also picked up a mr clean so i basically picked up eight of the 329 items so five of the febreze car clips the febreze small space the dawn and the mr clean so all of those so all of those eight came to 26.32 to get to the 40 dollar mark i picked up some of the tide so the tide and the downy they're all uh, buy two for seven dollars so i basically picked up four of them so that came to 14 dollars so all of these items here so uh basically all of these PNG product except for one of the Febreze came to $40.32. So with that, I had uh, six of the 239s. So I had uh, four of these ones. I had one of those and then also a loads of card on the fifth one. And then I had uh, 50 cent loads on uh, the Mr. Clean and then the two Tides. So all together after all coupons, it would come to twenty five oh two, gain the ten dollars back. We got to be cost of fifteen oh two on its own. So that's pretty good. And then what I did was to get to the fifty dollar mark, I threw in two more of the Ziplocs. So that that was an extra ten dollars that helped me get to the fifty dollar mark. So forty dollars worth of PNG and then two of the Ziplocs. Okay. So let me show you my receipt for that one. So over here, you can see there is the Dawn, there's the Febreze clip with the 230 load, there's another Febreze clip with my coupon, another one, another one there. Um, this is the small space with a 230 coupon, and then the other Febreze there. There's also the Mr. Clean at 329 with the 50 cent load. There's the two Ziplocs with the 5 of 25 and the 5 of 15, and then there are the Tide there. So I've got... Um, Two of the tides there and then a 50 cent load on the pods and then another two and then 50 cent for the liquid okay so for all of this before coupons it was fifty dollars and ninety cents so just over the fifty dollar mark after all coupons the subtotal is 2560 uh, including tax is 2877 and i got thirty dollars back so 15 for the social barcode 
five each for the PNG because I did the doll twice, and then five for the Ziploc. So already for this one, we've got to be a one dollar and twenty three cent money maker, including tax. Not including tax works out to be a bigger money maker. So this was a really good transaction there. So if you wanted to do that and you have those uh, coupons for the Febreze, that's a really good deal. Okay, so that is transaction number two. Both of those went through perfectly fine okay so this is transaction number three so i did um the drinks i did the uh they are two for six and then uh buy four get uh six dollars back so that works out to be a really good deal it is a limited two so i've done it once on this card and then i picked up the chips again so if you watch haul number two this breakdown is really good. So they're meant to be $5.99 each. Buy two, get three. The limit is two. The issue that happened here was the Lay's rang up more expensive than the Doritos. I did get the bonus cash for all of them, but I didn't catch that the Lay's were coming up at a higher price, which is not right. So to basically correct that, he wanted to do a whole refund and repurchase, and I'll go through that one later. But I'll just go through what I did pick up. So I picked up the drinks, which was $12. I picked up the chips, it was basically, um, that came to about $24. And then to get to the $50 mark, I picked up some more Ziplocs. And so I basically cleared them out of the cheaper 529 ones. So I had to resort to getting two of the 629 ones here. Okay, so I did do that. So I've got two of the Ziplocs, four of the drinks, and then four of the chips. So I'll show you my receipt for this one. Um, and then I'll show you like the whole refund and repurchase. Okay, so this is my receipt here. So you can see there's a Lay's. They came up as $7.19 instead of $5.99. There's my $5.15, my $5.25. The Doritos came back. Uh, they came at the right price at $5.99. And then there's the other Lay's there. Um, oh, also to get to the $50 mark, I actually picked up one of the Febreze car clips. So basically between the Ziplocs, the drinks, and the chips, I'm like at $48. So to get to the $50 mark, I threw in one of these car clips. So I do have that one there with my $230 uh, coupon. There's the two uh, Ziplocs, and then there are all of my drinks. So before all coupons, it all came to about $54. After all coupons, it came to $43.33. And then after tax is $44.40 and I got $32 back. I, for some reason, I didn't realize um, it was more expensive than I thought. And then when I got the receipt, I realized that the Lay's were more expensive. So I'll go through that one later. But here you can see there are the chips with three. There is the drinks at six and then the email barcode for $15 and then the uh, ziplocs for five so i did get 32 dollars back and so because of the lays instead of just giving me like a refund on a um i don't know maybe like a gift card or something he wanted to do a whole return and then repurchase so we basically did a whole return of all the products i got a refund of 44.16 even though i spent 44.40 so i'm out by like a few cents but that's okay in the end we did a whole repurchase so this is the new transaction here so there you can see the doritos and then he price modified all the lays i gave him another 5 for 15 and a 5 for 25 and then i gave him another manufacturer coupon for the febreze and then um, there are all the drinks here so in the end for everything this is what it should have been it should have been 39.73 instead of the 43.33 i was out by like just under four dollars i think three dollars and sixty cents um and then with this one i got 26 back so the reason why i got 26 back i have the drinks so because we did a repurchase i've done done the drinks twice even though i've only got four of them i should i could have got eight i have the circular barcode and then the ziplocs and you don't see the chips here because it is a limit of two and that's what i did here so this work out to be a bit of a mess but because of all of this it worked out to make it make it a money maker so it's very weird there because i was able to use those coupons again i was able to make it a money maker purely because when you do a refund and um, the bonus cash that you've earned stays on your account so i after this refund i ended up having quite a lot of bonus cash and then i just rolled it over here and i still have a, a good amount after that because of what i earned over here if you kind of understand the gist of that it's not um i would say it's not ideal 
scenario it's not something that i would want to do i would prefer them to just kind of give me like a little uh, refund on a gift card but he wanted to do the whole return and repurchase and so in the end it worked out for me okay so basically uh with this one here the way it worked out um it's kind of weird uh so for everything the way I would have wanted it for this transaction here, spending $40.79, technically getting the 32 back, I was expecting to pay $8.76, but because of the return and refund, this worked out to be uh, almost a $17 money maker because of the extra bonus cash that I got. Okay, hope I hope you understand what happened here, but in the end it worked out. Okay. So that's basically it. Those are my technically three to four transactions. Because if you can see here, I did technically do a fourth one, even though I it's the same products. But for everything here on the table, the sale price would have been $171.76. After all, coupons and everything like that, my plan because of um, what I expected, the first transaction was a cost of $5.78. The second one was a $1.23 moneymaker. And the third one, I expected it to be a cost of about $9. I was expecting it to cost me $13.34 in the end because of the issue of the return and repurchase. All of this on the table work out to be a $12 money maker. So even though it's not the ideal scenario, it'll work out to be a money maker for me because of that issue. But if you were to do this the the correct way with all if it, if I didn't have this issue going on here, it would have been a cost of $13.34. Okay, so I hope that helped you, and that's basically it. That is my third and final Rite Aid haul for this week. Like I said, I've maxed out all of the barcodes, and so basically with the Duracell battery, I used the web barcode. With the PNG deal, I used the social, and then on my third one, the issue with the chips and all that, I used the email, and then when I did the repurchase to scan the barcode again, I used the circular. So I ended up using the circular and the email on the issue, uh, the, the issue kind of our transaction here. Okay, so that's basically it. That is my Rite Aid haul. I hope that was helpful. I hope you were able to do some of these deals at Rite Aid. Like I said, I, I know everyone's doing the five hour energy drinks, my store was completely out, um, and so I did have to improvise, and I really wanted to max out all of those uh, barcodes and get as many deals as I can. So yeah, here is my Rite Aid haul. Thank you for watching.